this case, we don't have two lights. We only have one. So how do we do that? We get... What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for watching this video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to make a two light setup using only one light. In this shot right now, behind me, you can see that there's a practical lamp right now. That's not what I'm including in the tutorial. That's just a practical light that's there. I could probably talk more about that in another video, how to use practicals and stuff. I'm not really using that light to light me. This is more for the background. So you can still use what I'm talking about with even without that light. My main source light is right here off camera. Uh, and it's putting light on me. And then over here, I have a white card that uh, is basically bouncing or reflecting that light that is here to basically bring up this side of my face. When you're doing a lighting setup, generally you have what you call a key light, which this would be. Think of the key light as the brightest source of light that's lighting your subject. In this case, the light that's lighting me. I do have two of these, so I could do the lighting setup I'm doing now with two of my LED panel lights here. But obviously for the sake of this tutorial, I'm only using the one light in a bounce car to basically create a similar effect. You can use any light with this. It doesn't have to be like an LED pro video light. It can be it could be a lamp. I could use that lamp. I can use some other practical light that I have around the house as the key. As a matter of fact, let me start taking lights away so that way you can see what each thing is doing. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the background light too so that way you can see exactly what's happening. This is what it looks like with every other light off except for my key light. Um, obviously you can tell that the background lights will create some type of depth in the shot, which I would also suggest, it's not part of this tutorial, but I will also suggest to put other lights in, in the background to help create that depth uh, and create three dimensionality to your shot. Looking at it, it probably isn't a bad shot just with this one light, but if you don't like the contrastiness on this side, which is uh, the fill side of the face, this is the side that's being cast in, into shadow because of the light that's being thrown here by the key. So you have your fill side here. So let's say you're like, uh, I don't want it to look this moody or this contrasty. Then that's when you would go ahead and bring in your second light. In this case, we don't have two lights. We only have one. So how do we do that? We get a white bounce card and we set it up here and the light from the key light reflects off of that uh, bounce card and then hits back into our face, filling in this side. So I'll show you. Trying to have it back to where I had it before, just off camera. And you can obviously, it's coming to frame there, but you can obviously, you know, play with it and take it away further to get exactly the look you want. I'm just gonna drop it like right about there. And uh, yeah, okay, so let me, it's not really. I'm gonna drop it right about there. So you can see it on and off what it looks like. But yeah, I decided to go ahead and bring it in to bring up some of the shadows so it's not as contrasty. Um, or dark on this side of the face. <clears throat> just turn my background lights back on. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's just a simple way of doing it, creating two lights with only one. Let's say you wanna be able to do two lighting setups for your photography or for your videography. Based on what I just showed you in this video, you totally can do it. It doesn't make a difference. No one knows that you didn't use two of the same type of lights. You just bounce up, bounce it off of something. And you can use anything. You can use a white bounce card. You can use a reflector. Try to use different things that reflect light and see what kind of looks you like that it creates. You can do the same thing by bouncing light off of a wall. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoy that. If you have any questions about what I talked about in this video, go ahead and leave it in the comment sections. Uh, ask away. I'll respond to your questions and answer to the best of my ability. Uh, if you want me to go into more in depth on this, I can try to do another video on that too. Maybe I'll even do some kind of Instagram live thing and show you uh, walk through it. So you can see me step by step how you would do a setup like this. But it's pretty straightforward, pretty basic, and anybody can do it. Like I said, it does not have to be this kind of light I'm using for this video. It can be some other type of light. I'll probably even do a video for getting good lighting on a budget. I've done good looking videos even without the lights I have now. So I can show you how to do that too. If you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe and please leave a like as well. You can expect to see regular content coming from this channel. So keep checking back for more and more. Be sure to check out my Instagram page for other content and stay up to date with what's going on with me. Until next time, just get out there and shoot. No excuses.